In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to stream using your mobile device. Let's get right into it. The first step you're going to want to do is go to your mobile app store and then just simply download the Prism live streaming app. Once you have that installed, you're just going to have to make an account with Prism. But as you can see, it's really easy to make an account because you can use virtually any social media to sign up with. Once you're signed up, you're obviously going to want to give permission to Prism to use your camera and all that stuff so they can properly stream off your device. Once you have all that set up, up, it's going to look something like this. The first section I'm going to be showing you is the photo section. You can do a bunch of different things while taking your photos such as different filters for your camera or you can add shades or stickers or all that type of stuff. You can also draw on your screen if you want to show something important but what I find really interesting about the photo section is the beauty effect you can add to your face especially the natural beauty selection which helps with stuff such as the smoothness of your face, the shape of it, if you want your lips to pop out more and all that type of stuff. They also have many different photo filters. You can make it look vintage or have a black and white effect or something along those lines. This pretty much goes for the video section as well. But what you can also do to the photo or video scenes is that if you swipe to the left, you can create your own sources, such as adding some type of media, like for an example, your logo, or if you wanna add your music playlist to show on screen. While you're taking a photo or video, you can do that here. You can also add customized text and finally even add your own website if you want now I'm gonna be talking about the most important part which is obviously live streaming on here pretty much there's three different modes the first thing obviously being just your camera and it still has the different filters and effects that you can add just like I did earlier to the video and the photo section but if you don't want to show your face you can go to the vtuber section being a vtuber it's pretty much having an image of something representing you instead of having to show your face all the time you can show the vtuber instead they have many different preset vtubers you can pick from or if you have a vtuber yourself you can just add it here you can also change the emotion of your vtuber so if you're happy or sad you can do that here and finally you can change the background of where the vtuber is at finally we're going to be talking about the screen section for live streaming just pretty much click on screen and then here is where you can choose two different options you can choose between landscape or portrait for this example i'm going to click on landscape and here is where they have a preset of what your stream is going to be looking like you can obviously switch it up and change everything that you want just by simply clicking on it if you go to the plus in the top right corner you can add more features for your stream such as adding your website or an image or even the vtuber that we talked about earlier they will soon be adding a feature to where you can implement your webcam on the gameplay which comes out very soon but at the time of this video it's not out yet finally if you want to multi stream to different platforms here's how you do it all you do is go up to your profile in the top right corner underneath live settings as you can see it says stream destinations so just click on that and here is where you would just log into whatever platform you'd stream to and it should be good to go other than that i hope you enjoyed the video if you haven't already please be sure to drop a like and subscribe down below i hope you have a good day peace out